السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته اوكي المكان I think we can start بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى أله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وصحة الأخلاق والحمد آمين وأجمعين آمين اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص في وجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين Uh, this is uh, my first case. Okay. Uh, any volunteer for this case? Any volunteer for this case? Any volunteer? شفنا زيها بالمرة السابقة. Any volunteer for this case? Actually, the view of uh, <coughs> just a CT scan, enhanced uh, just CT scan okay. with the assignal window at the level of the aortic arch, shows a, a size, a sizable, a well-defined anterior mediastinal, uh, enhanced mass. When it enhancement? It's fat enhancement is centrally. There is a peripheral and central enhancement. Okay, these are enhancement. It is okay, but I don't think these are enhancement. Okay, Mashi, come on. This was good. Come on. With a Mostly fat content. This is fat. It is the same fat as here, or a little bit different. Mm, yes, it's a small, a small hypodense. Yeah, than. this is more more hypodense than the than that than this one. It is hypodense. It is looks like okay. It is looks like. Cystic, okay. Mm -hmm. It is looks like cystic, okay. 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 So, what is else? What else? Yani, <clears throat> multiple related. Okay, we have multiple, multiple cystic lesion, cystic, multiple cyst lesion in that mass. Okay. سوينا سماري مرة ثانية بهمش. It's an axial chest CT scan with contrast. Okay. Mediastinal window at the level of the aortic arch. Okay. Shows an anterior mediastinal multiplicated cystic mass lesion. Okay. With no Marked any yani, uh, central and uh, central enhancement. Okay. Okay. Rajan, the first video to I saw. I your differential. Mm. 
your differential? Anterior. What are the differential diagnoses of anterior, anterior mass? Uh, thymic origin. Uh, thymic uh, origin. Thymoma. Like thymoma, but here it is it is cystic. Can, any region in the thymus can be cystic, thymic cyst. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other differential? Lymphoma. Thymic cyst. Yeah. Thymic cyst or cystic thymoma. حكيناها أوكيا أوكيا اللي بعدها بعد اللمفوما غالبا اللمفوما بتكون صلب إلا إذا كانت عنا نوع من أنواع الثيموما. النكروتيك. النكروتيك وان أوكيا other differential. other differential. Tyratoma, okay, tyratoma can, can be cystic, okay, but usually they have but, uh, fatty yeah. density or other tissues, okay? Yes, yes. Other, other differential? Um, what about thyroid? Yes. Okay, thyroid. Okay. Other differential, is it the case? ال5 النمبر هم 5 تيز حكينا احنا عندنا 5 تيز اند ذا 5 تيز ات از تون اوف اذر باثولوجي مضبوط ولا لا اذا بتتذكروا يس يس ذاتس رايت اوكي منها ايش من التونز اوف اذر باثولوجي فور جات سيست لينفانجيوما these are mm -hmm. some uh, of the, the differential diagnosis. Okay, here you see we can here you see multiple multiple cysts in a cyst. Okay, here mm -hmm. this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, five, and this is raising the possibility of ash. High dotted cyst. High dotted cyst. This is. These are daughter cyst. Yeah, these are daughter cyst in in mm -hmm. high dotted cyst. You know the classification of the high dotted cyst. This before the classification, here we have the repeat the differential diagnosis: thymoma, teratoma, terrible lymphoma, thyroid, and tons of other stuff. Uh, lesions like for gut cyst, aneurysm, mesenchymal tumor, sarcoma, hemangioma, etc. Okay, you know the classification of high data cyst? Um, these types are appear here. Okay. You can uh, you can uh, take the information from the slide. Okay, yes. no problem. Okay. That's right. mm -hmm. Here, we have daughter cyst. It is daughter cyst. It is looks like this one. Mm -hmm. This is the CT scan. This is the CT scan. This is the MRI and this is the ultrasound. This one it is it is C type two. Type two. So this is mm -hmm. type two can be multi vesicular multi septated daughter cyst or honeycomb better this is the uh, classification by uh, by mm -hmm. one of the who alpha and these are the other types and type 2 type 2 and type 1 it is active or not active which one is active which one is not active Type 1 and 2 active. Type 1 and 2 is active. Type 4, 5, it is not active. And type 3, it is intermediate. Okay? Intermediate mm -hmm. can be active, can be not active. Okay? It is depend on the it is case. Okay? Mm -hmm. Any question on high data cyst and it is a classification? Yes. Huh? Uh, this uh, this uh, that is in the mediastinum or intrapulmonary. 
which one? This mass? This case, okay. This case, yeah. Why? What is the, how can we differentiate between the inter between mediastinal and uh, and pulmonary mass? How? Yeah, I know. Uh, 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 according to the angle, it's obtuse angle. Okay, this is a classic in the anterior mediastinum. This is a classic in the anterior mediastinum. With, with mediastinal window. Uh. It is, it is a classic. It is a okay. Then, okay, it can be an obtuse angle. Not, not really obtuse angle, but it is across the midline. Any line time and mass it is across the midline? Hmm? Any line time and mass it is across the midline or not across the midline? Not across the midline. Yeah, usually not across the, uh, the midline. Usually it is not across the midline. The mass not across the midline. Unless it is a what mass effect. The mass effect it is not but usually not across the midline, okay? And there is sign, it is called, I don't remember what it is called. It is called, what is it called? It is called, anterior junctional sign, okay? Anterior junctional sign. Okay, and that sign, it is a blue, a blue in the anterior, in the anterior, and once mm -hmm. it is obliterated, it is, uh, it is mean that anterior mediastinal mass. And we mm -hmm. also have the posterior junctional line, and if it is also obliterated, it is a posterior, uh, a posterior mediastinal mass, okay? Okay. Okay. Any question on this? Hi, data cyst and can you zamani kuna any mass anywhere? Any mass anywhere? It is high data cyst until prove otherwise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But the first time, doctor, I see it in media stain. I mean, we're talking about it. It is real position. It is real position. But any mass, any mass, anywhere in the body, it is hydrated cyst until prove otherwise. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any question? Thank you. Naam, Ustad. Ma'am, uh, uh, what about the septa? This considered enhancing or not? Usually, the septa of high data is non-enhanced. Not enhanced. I think it is non-enhanced because a little bit the mediastinal window, little bit softer. Okay, it is little bit softer. I don't think it is enhancing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. This case. Anyone for this case? Okay, sir, can I talk? You can start. Okay, this is chest x-ray frontal view of mature skeleton show evidence of multiple bilateral well-defined pulmonary nodule, mainly yeah. distributed at both lower zones. Okay. There is no any uh, normal cardiac uh, silhouette. No obliteration of course of phrenic angle. Okay, very good. Normal, uh, normal skeleton and uh, soft tissue. Very good. Okay, what is your differential? Differential diagnosis for multiple well-defined pulmonary nodules metastasis. Okay, one of the differential. Okay. Multiple AVM. Multiple AVM metastasis from where? Uh, me, yeah, any uh, most common metastasis uh, to the lung uh, breast. 
Here, here begin um, a job. Can be breast, breast, can be breast here. No, it is male. Okay. He is male. No, Five. no breast shadow. Okay. Okay, other differential. What are the metastases? Multiple AVM. Oh. Multiple AVM. How multiple AVM should be? Sorry. Ma him to so I'll afford. How multiple AVM you see in your life too much? No. Okay. Okay, what other metastasis can cause this other metastasis other than the breast? Okay, could not this male? GIT. GIT. SUA? Colon, colon. Colon. RCC, Munkin. Munkin, RCC, okay. Ovarian. Ovarian, it is male, okay. Endometrial, but it's a male. Yeah. Okay, endometrial has a male. Okay, prostate. Prostate. Okay. What other differential? Rheumatoid nodule. Rheumatoid nodule. You know, other differential, vasculitis. Okay, other differential. Wigner. 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 Okay, Wignalls and collagen disease, Wignalls, vasculitis, okay, other differential? Multiple hydatis cyst. Multiple hydatis cyst, okay. Infection, okay, infection, our infestation, hydatis cyst, one of the differential, okay? Other differential? Septic embolitis. Septic embolitis, and this is the CT scan of this patient. Okay. Oh, okay. To be cystic. It is a view, looks like cystic. Okay. Hmm. And enhancing. And enhancing. Okay. Alveolar hemorrhage. Alveolar hemorrhage, no shaker. Okay. More head alveolar hemorrhage. Okay. Or hemorrhagic metastasis. Uh, these cystic, are, metastasis. cystic metastasis. Cystic, okay. These are some of the causes of metastasis. Hakena uh, ehna alehom. Hakena neoplastic. Hakena infection. Hakena vascular. Hakena vascular into AVM. Multiple infarctions. Okay. Uh, inflammation, sarcoid, rheumatoid, nodule, mal vasculitis. These are some of the differential diagnoses. Okay. Any question on this? And this is hydatus cyst, by the way. Yes, yes yeah. because it is hypodense and non enhancing. Yeah, yeah, it is hydatus cyst. Uh, it is hydatus cyst in patient, in this patient. Okay. Any question? Okay, in this case. Mm. Mm, I'll go <laughs> This is a new unit, okay. Difficult uh, delivery, okay. Anyone? Sucker, 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 sucker. Anyone for this case? It is. It's kaput sexidum. Oh, Sophie, we want to step by step. Okay. What is the procedure? What is your finding? Differential diagnosis, most likely diagnosis, and your recommendation. We need like this, okay? Anyone? Okay, sir, can I talk? You can talk. 
Okay, uh, this is a frontal and lateral X-ray of a skull of a neonate. Okay. Apart from uh, soft tissue swelling and opacity, there is multiple uh, lucencies distributed all over the calvarum. Okay. What the what are these? Uh, so I will put yeah, on the top of differential diagnosis, uh, maybe cover beaten skull. This is a new niche. Yom wahad, yomin, minin, ajab, cover beaten. Lacunar skull, lacunar. Okay, okay, lacunar skull. Okay, lacunar skull. Okay. So this is a normal variant. Okay. Concentrate on the soft tissue now. Okay. Uh, there is a soft tissue swelling that across the suture. That across the suture. Very good. That across the suture. What does that mean? So two two swelling across the suture, either caput or um, or what? Um, not the superiosteal. Uh, the I forget the name, sorry. I know it. Mama. Subgallial. yes. Subgallial, okay. Yes. Okay. How to differentiate both? Subgallial hematoma across the suture, siphon hematoma does not. Is it Tanya? Siphon hematoma. هي حكت تابو تلاكسي دينا ما شو لا لا هي حكت تابو تلاكسي دينا مو لا لا نعم الكابو تلاكسي دينا مو السابقيلي الهيماتوما كروس ذا سوتشر اوكي هاو تو ديفرنشيت فروم هيستوري فروم هيستوري اي تولد يو ديفيكالت ليبر And the clinical exam, if there is a pitting edema, it is uh, okay. Uh, pitting edema, it caput. is with mm. with caput succedina. But on the you need next step. What is the next step you need? MRI. MRI or CT scan or or ultrasound. Uh -huh. يعني إذا إذا okay. إذا ultrasound. No. Okay, Marna, the one I think I have the here, Shway. That's what I think I have. Okay, okay, we have the Mara here. Cover the Shangi fluid level. Fluid, the fluid, fluid level, or hematocrete level, okay, mass. It is across the midline or not across the midline? It's across the midline. It, it is across, sorry, the sutures, okay. It is across the sutures. Yes. Yeah. It is across the sutures. Okay. And with with a fluid with hematocrit level. Okay. Or fluid fluid level. Okay. So this mass it is a subgallium. Subgallium. It is subgallium hematoma. Okay. Why? Why? Because it. Why? You see here the skin. And overlying the periosteum, directly above the periosteum. It is above the periosteum. You see here the skin and the white line. This is the fat bar. This is the fat, and it is under the fat. And this is the, it, it is the, between the periosteum and gallial abnormalities. Okay, between gallial and if it is, if it is under the periosteum, between the tab uh, outer table of the skull and the periosteum, it is severe hematoma. It will not cross the midline. It is limited by the midline. Okay, so this is this is uh, this is a covered sex. Uh, sorry, this is subgallial hematoma. Fi on left side chi. There is another smaller hematoma on the left side also, okay? This one, okay? To her? Yes. Okay? Yes. So this is, uh, 
This is a subgallial hematoma. And this is the subgallial hematoma. Here you have the skin and you have the connective tissue. And this is the purple line. This is the gallial abineurosis. And the black line, it is the uh, periosteum. And that in the subgallial hematoma, the hematoma, it is between the purple line and the black line. So it is above the periosteum and it is across the midline as we see in this case. And some, some notes about the subgallial hematoma. It is bleeding uh, in the potential space between the periosteum and gallial uh, abineurosis. And it is uh, occur in about 1.5 to 10,000 of birth, life birth. And it is maybe following the head trauma and occur spontaneously. Can occur after a uh, skull fracture in head trauma in patient in adult. So, uh, can? Yes, it is can. Yes, yeah. usually we see it. Uh, we, we see it a lot. And it is due to due to a rupture of emissary veins and the dual sinuses, okay? And this is the cause of the subgallial hematoma. Here, this is another patient with uh, another Mimdit Baba who volunteered for this case. This is local by soft tissue swelling. This is local by soft tissue swelling. It is localized. And delimited by, by the uh, sagittal su suture. By sagittal suture, okay. So this is. Okay, it is subperiosteal -peri hematoma. Subperiosteal hematoma. Other name? Cephalo hematoma. Cephalo hematoma. Okay, very good. So this Which is. Which raises the possibility of non accidental injury. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, and this patient has bilateral. Okay, you can uh, you can describe the finding here. Hmm? Uh, okay, sir. Uh, this is multiple, uh, yeah, multiple uh, CT scan at the axial and coronal level uh, show evidence of uh, localized soft tissue density swelling on the right uh, parietal region. And, uh, and on coronal imaging, the uh, yani bilateral swelling limited by the sagittal suture. Okay. Okay. On more on soft tissue window, it appears dense. Okay, she has so it's parietal. Okay, she has on the right side here. She is she on? Uh, yes, this is uh, uh, localized at the parietal region. Okay, so okay. we have. So this is. Okay, Kamli. Okay. Bilateral cephalohematoma. Bilateral cephalohematoma. So, any hematoma, any hematoma in a neonate, in a neonate limited by suture, it is cephalohematoma. If it is not limited by suture, either it is subgallial hematoma or cabosexidenum. But the cabosexidenum, usually we don't, we don't uh, scan it. We don't uh, make imaging for that. So the the diagnosis for the other, it is across the midline or across the sutures, this is subgallial hematoma. So you have two differentials, either limited by suture, severe hematoma, not limited by suture, it is subgallial hematoma and cabotsexidinum, but cabotsexidinum usually not imaging, it is not do imaging for that and clinically with beating edema and it is easy to differentiate, okay? Okay, the self okay, yes. hematoma, it is subbiosteal hematoma, usually occur by birth injury and it is between the periosteum and the cranium. 
so it cannot cross the suture line. And it is distinguishing from the subgadial hematoma, which is across the suture. And it is occur in about one to two percent of live birth. And the incidence increases with ventus or forceps extraction, okay? And usually, by the way, by the way, we don't, usually we don't image these patients with either with, even, even with sub, uh, sub, uh, subgadial hematoma or cephalohematoma unless the patient is a respiratory distress with abdal skull loss. This, so, and it is uh, uh, resolved and sometimes it is calcified, okay? It is across the midline on one case if there is a craniosynostosis, okay? If there is a craniosynostosis on the affected suture, it will cross the suture line, okay? And this is the okay. severe hematoma, this is the periosteum, and this is the calvarial bone, and it is limited by the suture, okay? Any question on this severe hematoma versus subgadial hematoma? Okay. We move to the second case, our next case. Okay, what is this? Simple case, daily work, not daily work. Okay, generally we see it. Mm -hmm. Any, any, any volunteer? Any volunteer for this case? Any volunteer for this case? Hello? Mahada. Omar Faisal. Fatahal microphone to Tihki Omar Faisal. Omar Faisal. Okay. Anyone, any volunteer for this case? Uh, doctor. Uh, this is an uh, ultrasound uh, in the uh, in the gallbladder bed of the liver. Uh, see that the gallbladder is normal inside, not distended, and uh, normal wall thickness containing in the posterior wall multiple echogenic foci. Uh, differential diagnosis multiple small stones or polyps uh, and uh, this is uh, not costing a posterior acoustic shadow so I will uh, uh, go with the uh, multiple polyps look again on this on this areas okay this is multiple debris containing fixed sluggish okay you see here, yes, it goes with not real shadowing, okay, mm -hmm. with with clear and some me dirty shadowing, okay, and some some thickening of the wall, okay, more than three millimeter in this patient, okay. Okay. okay, and with dirty shadowing, okay? What do you think? So, 
Mm. Uh, what differential Chronic. diagnosis, polyps and the stone? This is not the stone. Because the stone this is, it will it give you slide. good shadowing. Mazwood. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Possibly cholesterosis. Cholesterosis. Adenomyomatosis. Adenomyomatosis. Okay. This is not typical of cometal. Cometal. It is not this typical. Is it is not this typical is of cometal abuse. Okay. Cometal. You see the cometal um, not um, linear um, shadow um, like this. Okay. Okay, and, yeah. and the commotion it is mostly from the interior wall, and usually from the interior wall. Okay, oh, and right. this, 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 it is what could be gas bubble. Gas, gas bubble. bubble. Yes, it is gas bubble. If you gas see bubble. gas bubble in patient in the wall. A wall yeah, patient is... with abdominal pain, Murphy sign positive, okay. Okay, okay. emphysematous okay. colostitis. Okay. What are the colostitis? Yes, what are the other signs of acute colostitis other than we mentioned? Again, I have wall more than wall, three millimeter. millimeter. Murphy sign positive. Okay, and a Murphy sign positive. Other signs? Pericholicystic fluid. Pericholicystic fluid. Pericholicystic fluid. Okay. Others, others, others. Yes. 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 A calculus, there's no stone. Okay. Diabetes. This, this, is, this is another entity, a, a calculus. And gold stones, okay. Diabetes. And gold stones. Oh, okay, okay. These are the. Okay. Can be with fever or not clinically? Yes. Without fever. Fever no. and jaundice. Uh, can be okay. By by the way, uh, how many, how how the percentage of the Murphy sign in acute cholecystitis? About eighty percent. About seventy percent. Okay. Seventy. Okay. This is again. This is. Uh, what do you think this patient has? Yeah, diabetes. It diabetes. Is, yeah. It is diabetes. ICU, ICU, ICU patient. And what is the treatment? Cholecystectomy. Huh? Emergent. Emergent. Cholecystectomy. Cholecystectomy. No, no. Are you sure? Yeah, because no, the no, patient no. it is severely ill and malad, he cannot tolerate the operation. Here, oh, no. this is the rule of the interventional radiologist, and he will call it system. Call it system. This is the it is on the his bedside, and he drain, and the patient will recover immediately. Okay. Conservative on drainage. Mm. Okay. Next case. Any question on this case? Uh, how can I differentiate the dirty shadow from the real acoustic shadow? Real acoustic shadow. You, the real acoustic shadow, Ferdinaki, you do the mother sarta, the Kizakari wall with sign. Wall okay, okay. Wall acoustic shadow. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And this is the real is, acoustic cool. shadow. Mm -hmm. And Ferdinand command. Calcified gold bladder wall, either the Zakaro, Mashi, Borsalin, gold bladder. These are the, the, these are the, the, the stone and the wall. And the stone also, the daily work, you have the stone. Okay. But can stone not cause shadowing? Yes. Yes, yes it can. Can. What, how? Cholesterol. Cholesterol. No, no. Pigmented is gone. No, no. Pigmented stone. No, huh? wait, wait. Cool stones. Any stone cause shadowing. Any stone, because the cause shadowing. In spite of its type, 
cholesterol, pigmented, calcified, non-calcified, doesn't matter, okay? But the size of the stone and the ultrasound beam, if the ultrasound yes. beam, it is small, I think less than maybe three millimeter or less than three millimeter, I don't remember the number, it will not cause shadowing. So you should change the probe. You should change the probe from, for example, from 3.5 megahertz to 5 megahertz or, and repeat the scan again. And you will see the shadowing of the stone, okay? To because oh, to, my differentiate, to differentiate from a polyp. Sometimes detached polyp, can, you can see it in, in the gallbladder wall. Uh, sorry, in the gallbladder in the human. How to differentiate gallbladder uh, polyp, uh, detached or stone? You should change the probe, okay? Change, change the probe. Any question? Okay, and this is the patient, another patient with emphysema cystitis, and you see the inflammatory changes around the gallbladder here, and also the inflammatory changes around the colon here. Okay. 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 And this is okay. This is another patient with. Acute oh, right oh. upper quadrant pain. طبعا نحن نسينا نحكي إذا كان سوينا حطينا دوبلر ultrasound we see edematous wall with the dubler and hypervascularity of the of the wall. Okay, with the dubler. Okay, نسينا نحكي هاو. Okay. Uh, what you see in this patient? Distended gallbladder with thick wall, pericolecystic fluid, okay. and, uh, and the sludge. And the sludge. Okay. Acute cholecystitis. A calculus. A calculus cholecystitis. Because you don't see, you don't see any stone here. Okay. So you the don't see. Irritation. With the sludge irritation. Okay, so this is a calculus cholecystitis. Okay, we have body blood wall thickening, very cholecystic fluid. Okay, and the okay. patient with uh, uh, with uh, pain. So, uh, okay. Mostly seen in the bedridden. But it is rare, yani, How to confirm? How, how to confirm that it is a calculus cholecystitis? Huh? From the history. MRCP. MRCP. MRI. MRI will not add anything. You have gallbladder wall and uh, thickening of fluid, etc. Uh, you should do nuclear medicine. It is they said the nuclear medicine it is more definite than the other modalities. Okay, Hi. what you see in the nuclear medicine? By the hydra. Okay, hydra. Okay, hydra scan. Okay, what you see? Delayed uptake. Delayed uptake. Okay, mafia uptake and the mafia uptake in the gallbladder. You see, and you see going to the biliary system. Okay, this is the case. Okay, next case. And it's what diagnosis? Accordion sign. Accordion sign. When where we can see this? See the membranous colitis. It is a specific. Not a specific. Not a specific. Pseudo membranous colitis. Okay. Any cause of edema. Any any colitis can give this appearance. Okay. 
Yes. You see here in the right side, the transverse colon, even in the descending colon. Yes, sir. Okay. Combination, the contrast between them. So this is a cordium sign with colitis, around, uh, with pseudomondrenus. Okay, mashi. What is inside here? Inside that. This is the wall, high bo high wall. And what is enhancing contrast. here? Contrast. This is the stratification of the wall, enhancing of the mucosa, hypodian submucosa, and okay, enhan enhancing good. muscular proper property. Okay, okay. The sign is the accumulation of the contrast between the thickening. Okay, this the... sign, what is this sign? This is the contrast between the this is a raw sign of the this appendicitis. This is a raw sign of appendicitis. This appendicitis. is here. This is the appendix here. This is the stranding and the small lymph node, small uh, stranding on the, the appendix. The and this is the raw sign. Okay. What the are the other signs of, of the appendicitis? Target sign. By CT. By CT. Mm. Huh? Target sign. Okay, so what? Target sign. By CT, huh? Okay, we can uh, okay, we can accept target sign because we can see target sign. Okay, other signs? Do you see a bendicolis? Yeah, okay. How many percent? How much is the percent? Five. Ten percent. No, it is uh, high, high percent. Kadesh. How much? I think it is sixty to seventy percent. Huh? I, in symptomatic patients. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it can be symptomatic. Yeah. If if it's symptomatic, yes, can be not symptomatic. Okay, other signs. Ninety percent. No gas. No gas in the ground. No, no gas, no gas uh, it is difficult. No gas, uh, cool, no gas. Okay. <laughs> 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 lymph node, okay, <laughs> okay, no lymph node, okay, <laughs> other <laughs> signs. <laughs> what is about <laughs> cecal bulb sign? Had the same cecal bulb sign? Had the same cecal bulb sign? No. Cecal bulb sign inflammatory changes around the cecal ball, okay? And separate the appendix from the cecal. Okay, this is the cecal. The orifice of the appendix and the orifice, the orifice of the appendix, the colitis. Yes, It's in the orifice of the appendix. No, no, no. Cecal, it is wall thickened. Wall this is cecal ball. Yeah, cecal ball because inflammatory changes around the cecal. Around the, the appendix. Around. Okay. Yes. Uh, other the... signs you should also you put the. Anterior posterior diameter of the uh, of the appendix more than six millimeter must go together, and mm -hmm. the three millimeter of the that's wall. A trending, that's a trending, yeah, I can understand. Okay, these are some no, no, signs. No. Okay, of the acute appendicitis. Come on, if it is perforated, etc. Gas, etc. Yes, you should uh, look for the perforation, etc. Perforation gas. Okay, any question on this? Appendicitis. Okay, this sign, this patient. Yes, sir. Barium meal. Barium meal, okay. Uh, showing collection of contrast. Showing collection of contrast, where? Uh, in the lesser curvature of the stomach. In the lesser curvature of the stomach, okay. في شيء تاني معها؟ Smooth mucosal form reaching the ulcer creator. إذن with collection of barium as you said creator with mucosal pores projecting towards the ulcer creator. Towards the creator, okay. Suggesting oh. benign ulcer. Suggesting of benign line. ulcer. Okay. Fish it any Hampton line. 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 Hamp
بتشوفوا بالبروفايل مظبوط ولا لا؟ This is in face. This is in face. Okay. إذا بدك تشوف هون إذا بت إذا يعني إذا بدك you see this is the wall here you can see appreciate minimal 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 crater beyond the lesser curvature. Okay. Yes. Yes. There is some. Yeah. Okay. Okay. في شيء تاني؟ Hmm? Yeah. 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 With we should ask for endoscopy and further evaluation with the endoscopist if he wants to take biopsy or not. Biopsy. Okay. Yes. This this barium swallow. Which which position here? It's a work here barium or it's a work here. هسا ما فيش يعني هسا انت كم سنه لك يعني بالاشعه وين هذا؟ ها؟ رايت انتيرير اوبليك رايت انتيرير اوبليك كيف يعني رايت انتيرير اوبليك؟ رايت سايد اليفيتد ولا ليفت سايد اليفيتد؟ ليفت سايد ها؟ Stomach fungus, it is filled with ash. Filled, so it is supine. It is supine. supine. It is oblique supine. Yeah, you see here, this is the this is the bedicle. You see here, this is the bedicle. But it is the once the fungus it is filled with 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 barium. This is uh, supine with elevated uh, either left side or uh, uh, elevated sorry with the right side. Okay. Okay. Any question? What is this here before we leave here? What is this? What is this here? Renal stone. Diverticuli, diverticuli. Diverticuli, huh? No, it is not. Renal stone. Renal stone. Not gold stone. What else? Renal stone. Medulla carcinosis. No. Barium in the barium in the titina. Barium. In my view, it's not barium. This is some barium. First part of titina. No, no. Artifact. Outside, outside on his clothes. Outside. Who is not barium? Outside. Why? Yeah. Who is not barium? This barium on on the. We don't call it how we will. We are controlled. I don't know. We are controlled. That's a sewing higher. Show the control. The mojuda. Outside. Outside. We see it a lot. Okay. Outside. We control. We have to control. We have to close. Okay. This case. Anyone this case? Calcification near the greater tuberosity of the right left humerus. Harder. Try, try, try to step by step. Okay, try yes. step by step. Shoulder X-ray. Shoot, no fall. Enter. يا بتحكي من كل هذا ما تحكي والواحد الثاني يحكي اوكي نو اه يتقطع يتقطع عندي الصوت يتقطع يتقطع عندك الصوت يا نو روح ويرجع روح ويرجع روح ويرجع قاعد التهجين صحيح اوكي سير كان اي توك اوكي 
Okay, this is a frontal X-ray of the show of the left shoulder joint mm -hmm. of mature uh, skeleton. Show mm -hmm. evidence of curvilinear calcification at the site of greater tuberosity at the site of the insertion of the supraspinatus muscle. Okay. So it is calcific tendinitis. Okay. Of supraspinatus muscle. Okay. One calcification or more than one calcification? There is another calcification here, linear uh, in the inferior border of the clavicle. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, what and is Apart this? from the generative changes of the acromioclavicular okay. joint. Okay, very good. Ratio out of calcification, linear calcification. Um, maybe ligamentous calcification. Hmm? Or uh, deposition of uh, crystals. Deposition of a crystal. Okay. What is in this area? Can be not can be a normal variant in this area. The projectile is scarce. Uh, in the Fajinaku, yeah, acromio clavicular separation in grade three projectile. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I remember. And, yeah, and the uh, space between coracoid and the clavicle. Okay, now how much the coracoclavicular ligament? How much? How much the space normally about? One point two up to one. One point two. Eleven to thirteen millimeter. Yes, thirteen millimeter. Here the space it is not okay. Masbutulala. Yes. It is the space is now with calcification with some scoliosis, and we call this this is conoid tubercle calcified conoid tubercle or coracoid tuberosity. Okay, okay, and this is calcification in the coracoid process or of the ligament part of the ligament. Which which part of the ligament? احنا حكينا كواكو كلافيكولار ديجمنت بس مش كله لانه كواكو كواكو كلافيكولار ديجمنت وي هاف تو بارتس وي هاف ترابوزويد بارت اند ذيس از ذا كالسيفيكيشن ان ذا نو نيد ات از نوت امبورتنت بس ات ليست اف يو منشن كونوي توبركل او كواكو كلافيكولار ديجمنت كالسيفيكيشن ذيس از نايس اوكي this is nice. This is sometimes, sometimes high barotrophide will give now that space. Come on, they may have to atomic clavicular OA changes and also calcific tendinitis. What is the type of uh, calcification here? The crystal? Hydroxy appetite deposition. Okay, very good. Okay, طبعاً في What is this view? هذا بعرف this view. This is why you view. Why view of the club of the shoulder joint? This is why view. Of the shoulder joint, and this is this wide view. It is very important for and this for is dislocation. The, for dislocation, and this is the the calcification of the coracoacromio uh, coraco the vitular ligament, and also this important. We can also know the shape of the acromion with this view. Okay. With this view, it is we know the shape of the acromion. Any question on this? Okay, okay, we can move um, to the last case, I think. Okay, what is this? و 
what is this? Anyone? Okay, this is uh, Akiana. Uh, this is an axial CT scan with contrast, Porto Venus, showing uh, bulky left uh, kidney and uh, ureter. The left kidney contains uh, numerous or multiple hypodensities within, associated with uh, thinning of the overlying cortex and uh, surrounding fat planes stranding. <coughs> mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm able to have pyelonephritis. Mungkin differential diagnosis. Mungkin zanthal granulomatous pyelonephritis. Maybe. Okay, I'm yes, on. I'm fourth. Fourth. We need more, more description. Okay. Tell me how much work. Tell me how much work. Can there's a, I can appreciate maybe a filling defect in the uh, left renal vein, maybe. Okay, there is a there is filling defect in the left renal vein. Okay. Oh, accompanied can, by. Uh, no. So we more description to the left kidney, more what any Okay, can we can appreciate a filling defect seen involving the left renal vein associated with uh, bulky or bulkiness of the left kidney, associated with numerous hypodensities within, surrounding uh, fat plane stranding. Ooh, that's about it. But that, that kidney, it is, it is normal shaped kidney or abnormal shaped kidney? No, abnormal left kidney, actually. Okay, abnormal shaped kidney. It is reniform or it is uh, being shaped? It is what? Re a reniform shape, okay, or uh -huh. bean shape, some more. Huh? I'm bean shaped. Okay, you can appreciate any any normal tissue in this patient, any normal kidney tissue in this patient. On the left side, no, very thin. On the left side. No. On the left side. No, I can't. طلع مزبوط. طلع مزبوط. We can thin cortex, that's it, but... Uh, okay, yeah. you see here, looks like mass lesion, okay? As well, okay. Yeah, Allah. And no. this is here, this is the cortex. Yes. And, yes. okay, it is invading the cortex, and this is what we call it, ish. Which sign here? Exophytic renal mass, exophytic. No, this is not exophytic, it is... It, uh, it is, it is mass lesion. We call this originated one, from uh, originated from the kidney. It started with the bit kidney. Okay. okay, this is clue sign, but it is not clue, clue sign. sign. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, it is not completely clue sign because this, this is very large mass. It is involving the left kidney yes. with necrosis, and it is extended outside mashi because it is infiltrating yes. the gerota fascia. If you yes. want to, for this staging of this mass, what you will put? Stage four, uh, stage four I think, I shall know, invading renal vein. Invading, the invading renal vein, it is stage three. Three, okay. three I'm sorry. Three. Uh, four uh, staging uh, renal vein, it is three. stage three. But here, yes. it, is, it is outside the kidney or it is inside the kidney? Fascia, it is... It is involved, Masbut or Lala? Yes. It is involved, okay? And here, you see here, this is stage 3A, only involved the brain. Stage 3B, it is spread to the infradiaphragmatic IVC. IVC here, it is not uh, felt. IVC. And uh, we have well-defined feeling defect till here. So the IVC probably it is not it is not involved, but we should see the other films, okay? And uh, stage three C extend to the supraglottic IVC and invade the wall of the IVC. Diaphragmatic. 
yeah, and the stage four, right, you see right. here, it is Jota fascia and it is extend beyond the Jota fascia. It is, I think it is involving the beyond the Jota fascia because it, you have here and the, even here lateral cono facial, it is involved, it is dirty, okay? Okay. Okay, so this is uh, renal carcinoma with the stage uh, four. Okay, probably. Okay. Okay. طبعا ما في عنا lymph node. Lymph node. It is مش شرط يكون عنا lymph node. Okay. طبعا إحنا عنا stage one. It is depend on the size. Okay. Stage one depend on the size. One A, one B. If it can be less than four or more than seven, okay? Okay. Any question on on this case? Oh yeah, the bonus case. This one, it is bonus case. أني حتى توتو ثلاث صور مع بعض، أوكي. أنيوان. أحكي أنا أنا بحكي يا دوبنا. تفضل. Uh, multiple axial views uh, for the MRI brain, lower cuts uh, shown the cerebellum. There is a ill-defined uh, left cerebellar hemisphere mass legion, which uh, denotes uh, high signal intensity, mainly high signal intensity on T2 and uh, flare, and showing diffusion restriction. Uh, the corresponding left cerebellar hemisphere, I think it's appears it's plastic. Appears what? Displastic. Uh, displastic. Okay. A little bit displastic. There are maybe at least three or four uh, hypo intensities seen within, maybe signal voids. Uh, <clears throat> that's it. Hemorrhage, maybe, I'm not sure. Now, this is this into you should you you mentioned this is a mass lesion, huh? Maybe a mass lesion because it's causing, it's causing compression. Okay. Causing this is effect. in the distribution of vessel or not? Here. Yes, yes, left beaker infarction, left beaker, left beaker infarction. This is the classic left beaker infarction. This is the anterior, this is the anterior, eca. this is the eca. here, this is supplied by eca. And this is the inferior part of the cerebellar hemisphere, and it is supplied by by beaker. Okay, and this yes. is the restriction diffusion of this uh, of this infarction, and uh, yes. and you see here, this is the inferior part of the cerebellum, and this is the eca here, and this is the beaker. Okay, and this is the mid part of the of the cerebellum and it is here the anterior part by eta and this is the beta and this is by the superior cerebellar artery the upper part of the cerebellum okay okay marble okay. nurse she here this is the a couple of yeah and this is the anti eka here this is the beta here and it is sub this is classic infarction okay this is a classic infarction involving the left cerebellar hemisphere any question on this okay oh, sorry okay this one this is okay Right, middle cerebral artery infarction. Minna, 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 step by step. Okay, now Hakinako, now this is a spot, okay. Minna, step by step. Okay, this is what? MRV. 
Absence of the right middle cerebral artery. Absence of the right middle cerebral artery, and here with restricted diffusion. Uh, restriction the, of the corresponding area. That's supplied the corresponding by the area of the middle okay, cerebral artery. Cerebral artery. Uh, and this here, this is perfusion. Perfusion. Had I been perfusion, it could have been done, or not? No. Yeah. This is the perfusion. We differentiate yeah. the between the infected area and non-infected area, okay? And it is very important to do with this, especially if you do the bare fusion yes, within the four hours, because we want to give the patient a thrombolytic agent, okay? Yes. Any question on this? Cancer, can we include uh, M1, M2, M3 segment infarction, or just to only say right middle cerebral artery? It is M1, M2, M2, okay? It is M1, M1, M2, okay? Okay, doctor, okay, so okay. thank you. Okay, and here, this is the, this is beta, maybe this is the, this is the M1 here, you see here, Yes, there is. This is the M2 here, M1, M2, M2, okay? Yes, sir. Any question on this? I saw Hatatopia Hamadouda in my Facebook page. You can take it from it, okay? Any question? Okay. Okay, we can stop here today and see you, inshallah, next week. Inshallah. Thank you, sir. Okay, inshallah. Thank you, sir. Shukran. Thanks. Afwan, afwan, inshallah. Shukran, jazeera, sir. Shukran, ya sidi. Shukran, jazeera, doctor. Shukran, shukran.